There are 67 uh, such um, centers or institutes in the country and or U.S. territories that have the designation as a University Center for Excellence on Developmental Disabilities. And that designation comes with a grant from the Administration on Community Living and the Administration on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities in the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Every state has one, and a number of territories have one. Uh, a few states, California, New York, Georgia, some of the larger Florida, some of the larger states have two or even three. Most states, like Indiana, have one. Uh, now, the history of why there's a University Center for Excellence is, is, is uh, in, in any state, is somewhat unique. And it actually comes from the um, um, uh, John Kennedy administration. Um, as you know, many people know, uh, John Kennedy had a sister, Rosemary, uh, who had a developmental disability. And he and the Kennedy family were keen to draw attention to the issue of quality of life or uh, lack of services, the situation, if you will. 19, I believe it was in 1962, um, uh, Kennedy was preparing for the State of the Union address. And uh, for the first time ever, um, um, the quality of life conditions for people with developmental disabilities, he wanted to bring to the attention of the nation in the State of the Union address. And while he was doing this preparation, he realized he couldn't really find any information from anyone about the national status of people with developmental disabilities in the United States. And, um, and he was quite shocked by that, uh, by report. And so uh, he, um, he called his sister Eunice. Now let me take a little sidetrack on the story before I move on down. Because Eunice and the Kennedy family had a friend by the name of Bob Cook. And Bob Cook was a pediatrician who happened to live in Florida, I believe. And his specialty was, as a pediatrician was children with developmental disabilities. So very unusual uh, sort of specialty in those days. Well, on the day when um, uh, uh, John Kennedy called Eunice, uh, Eunice was playing tennis with Bob Cook. Um, and they got on the phone, and, and the president uh, said he, he, he couldn't believe he couldn't find any information. What should we do about this? And uh, Eunice and Bob, at that point, started to sit down and crafted this notion that, well, there should be centers in major universities around the country that would have information and data about the status of people with developmental disabilities in their state or in the country. And um, um, that notion grew as a piece of legislation called the Developmental Disabilities Act. It's, there's a longer title, I'm not remembering. Of, um, I, I guess it would have been 1964, when it was eventually, no, 1963. Um, so it included university centers. It also included the idea of a governor's planning council for developmental disabilities that would be a policy uh, unit in every state, and a protection and advocacy system, which would be a, an equal rights, uh, protecting the rights of people with developmental disabilities. So those three ideas, a university center, a governor's council, and a protection and advocacy system, were all defined in the Developmental Disabilities Act in 1963. Um, and um, it was passed by Congress, and we believe it was the last piece of legislation that Kennedy signed before he died. Thank you.